Amen. Hallelujah. We give God all the praise for today. It's a good day. Uh, nice weather. Thank God that we are alive today to see this very day. I uh, give Him all the praise. God is the Father of all creation. He's the King of kings and Lord of lords. And we give Him all the praise. We give Him all the glory. We give Him all the honor. We thank God for today. It's a good thing to be alive. And it's a good thing to be in good health. And we give God the praise because only Him deserves all the praise and all the glory. So we've come today with a simple message. A message of hope. A message of uh, encouragement. And we come in the name of Jesus Christ. We've come to give you the good news today. The good news of Jesus Christ. And that's the gospel of salvation. So you can be saved. If only you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So we've come this message today. We've come with good news that Jesus loves you. There is hope for you. No matter how dark your sin may be. No matter how far away you might have gone from God. God still loves you. And he wants you to turn back to him. He wants you to humble yourself, humble your heart and turn to him. Because he's the king of kings. He's the lord of lords. He's the father of all creation. The Bible says God is the father of all spirits. So he, he is the father of everything. He's the creator of the universe, the heaven and the earth. And he has set his laws for us, for our own good. He has given us his commandments. And the commandments of God are for our own good. And he's told us in his word, the Bible, he's made it clear, he's written it out for us, that if only humble. humble ourselves and turn away from sin, then get right with God, we can be saved. The Bible says, as many who believe in Jesus as Lord and Savior, he has made them to become the sons of God. So you can become a son of God if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. It's a simple message. It's a simple message, but the issue is that many people don't want to humble Amen. Many people don't want to humble themselves. That's the problem of life. Many people won't humble themselves. Many people think they are, they are wiser than God, but you can never be wiser than your father. You can never be wiser than your creator. See, Jesus loves us so much. That he's, he's done it all to save us. He's paid the price. He's paid the penalty for all our sins. He's paid the price. He's paid all the penalties on the cross. He came to earth. He came here on earth. He died for us. Okay, so Jesus loves us. Jesus loves you, but you need to humble yourself and follow him. Repent and turn away from sin. Stop bowing down to idols. Stop serving the crea creation. Rather, serve the creator. We're not talking about religion. This is not about religion. This is about coming to know the creator. Coming to know your father. It's about believing in him. Accepting, in him, as, accepting him as your Lord and Savior. Turning away from sin. Turning away from unrighteousness. And following him. You see, many people have been deceived. Many people have have been have been torn torn away. They've been confused with the things happening in the world. But God makes it clear that we need to follow Him and Him alone. Many people choose to follow man. Many people choose to follow organizations. But He has given us His example. Jesus is our perfect example. Jesus is blameless. Jesus is sinless. Jesus is the example for all mankind. He came right here on earth to set an example for us. How to follow God. How to live righteously. But many people choose to set their own laws. And when you set your own laws, you're going to break your own laws. And you're going to end up in destruction. But God is giving every man a second chance today. That you need to repent, you need to get right with God. You need to turn away from sin, turn away from unrighteousness, turn away from breaking God's laws. God has set laws for each and every one of us. But when you break these laws, then 
punishment is inevitable. God loves us so much. He keeps giving us second chances. He's a God of second chance. He's given us second chances so many times. But many people turn this away. He's given us opportunity. He's given you an opportunity to turn back to Him. God is speaking to you right now and is giving you this opportunity to repent, to choose Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and believe in Him, and walk in righteousness. He loves you so much, and He's given His all on the cross. He died, and after three days, He resurrected to prove that He loves us so much, and He's calling you today to repent, turn away from sin, get baptized, study your Bible, and find out the truth for yourself. Jesus loves you. He loves you so much. And He wants you to be right again with Him. He wants you to get right with Him. Because time is running out. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. So they have to go. Yeah, place. the same place. Yeah. So God is speaking to you. Have you made up your mind to follow Him? <laughs> You've done so. Okay? So please read the Bible. Read the Bible and find out the truth for yourself. Okay? So you see, it's clear there. It says, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. Yeah. So it's God speaking to you. Okay? God is speaking to you. Okay? So yeah, He speaks to us in different ways. Okay? Through circumstances, things that happen. So God keeps speaking to us and He's drawing every one of us to Him. Okay? He's pointing us towards him. He says, get right, you know, turn away from sin. Stop. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's the complete opposite. But he's telling you that many people are deceived and they are going to the other side. Okay. They are being deceived and they are going to the other side. Yeah. yeah. I told you many times when we preach, many people shout, hail this or hail Satan. Yeah. So it tells you that many people are being deceived. Many people are being deceived. So, oh, okay, that's good. So see, God is he keeps sending people out to go and to warn people that they should not. Yeah. So maybe tomorrow the same thing will happen and someone else will be here. Yeah, okay. So God loves you, okay? God bless you, sir. Okay. So like we were just talking and says god is god speaks through different ways god is speaking to you right now and is asking you to repent is asking you to turn to him is asking you to give up sin give up a life of sin choose to follow jesus christ accept him as your lord and savior see what the bible says it says let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear god and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man because god shall bring every work into judgment whether it is good or whether it is bad so your works will be judged whether it's good or whether it's bad but the only way you can live a good life is following jesus christ accepting jesus as your lord and savior not religion because religion will make you bow down to idols and the bible makes it clear that all the gods of the nations are idols so God wants you to stop bowing down to idols, but rather to follow Him. Religion will make you bow down to idols. Religion will make you bow down to man. But God, God bless you. God loves you too, sir. So God wants you to turn away from worshipping man, turn away from worshipping idols, and turn to the living God. Because if you go in according to religion, then you're bowing down to man you're bowing down to idols but we're not talking about religion i'm telling you about your creator your creator and your lord and your god and the only way you can get to him is by believing in jesus christ as your lord and savior that he died and he took your place he paid your penalty your penalty for sin because we have all sinned all of mankind have sinned and the bible says the wages of sin is death the wages of sin is death the wages of sin is death so each time you sin your wages or the consequences of your sin is death the rewards you get when you break God's laws is death so every man every woman every boy every girl deserves death but there's only one person who can take away that sin 
only one person that can take away that penalty for sin and that person is Jesus Christ only Jesus Christ can wipe away your sin only the blood of Jesus Christ that he shed on the cross of Calvary can wash away your sins there's a wonderful song that says what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ the only thing that can wash away your sin is Jesus Christ so you need to believe in him get right with God believe in Jesus as your Lord and Savior stop living a life of sin choose to follow him choose to trust in him choose Jesus Christ time is running out choose Jesus Christ repent and be saved We've got three Bibles three Bibles for anyone who wants a copy of the Bible come and search out the truth for yourself come and find out the truth for yourself if you want to get by with God if you want to follow Jesus Christ if you want to repent if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ you can come forward we we'll love to pray for you pray with you study the Bible together get to find out the truth you see the truth is free now it's free the Bible we've got free Bibles for you the truth is in the Bible but many people have been deceived to follow a lie stop believing the lies of the world the Bible says anyone who loves the world is an enemy of God and what's the, the core problems of the world today the lust of the eyes the lust of the flesh and the pride of life these are the things that has blinded many the Bible also says the God of this world has blinded the eyes of many that they will not come to the truth but it's only the gospel of Jesus Christ that can shine the light into the darkness of the hearts of men so the big question is will you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior will you believe in him will you turn on to righteousness or will you keep living life of sin turn to Jesus Christ turn to Jesus Christ the only one who can change your mind or change your life is Jesus but you need to accept him you need to humble yourself wonderful thing what the Bible says it says it says the kingdom of God are for those who humble their hearts like children so if you humble your heart like a child then the kingdom of God is for you but if you harden your heart then you deserve God's wrath and God's judgment so it's only those who humble their hearts like little children that will inherit the kingdom of God so we're here to give out this message a message of hope a message that God loves you a message that Jesus loves you and that he wants you to come to him he wants you to come to righteousness he wants you to give your life over to him to repent and to choose him because he's a wonderful God he loves us so much but he doesn't want you to keep following idols he doesn't want you to get drunk he doesn't want you to steal he doesn't want you to watch porn he doesn't want you want you to do all those things that are unrighteous before his sight God loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever who believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life so whosoever you are you might be Muslim you might be a gay you might be homosexual you might be a thief you might be uh, a drug pusher you might be a drug dealer you might be a wretched person you might be suicidal you might be wicked you might be whatever you might be black you might be white God is saying if you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior you shall be saved you shall not be destroyed but rather you should have everlasting life you shall have a brand new life and it's only Jesus Christ that can transform your heart He can transform your mind He can transform your soul and He can make you brand new this is good news this is good news this is hope for mankind this is hope for every one of us and we should be rejoicing at this message because it's the only message of hope for mankind it's the only message of salvation for the rest of mankind and the Bible makes it clear that if we choose him if we choose him we choose life God says I've said before you life and death choose life that you may live choose Jesus Christ that you may live choose to follow him and your life shall never remain the same so we've got free Bibles anyone who'd like a copy of the Bible free Bible for you, you can come and get one if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ We'd love to pray for you and pray with you and we pray that this message would bless lives and touch hearts come convince the minds of people and 
many people will turn from unrighteousness to righteousness from sin and from sinners to become saints so this is a message of hope jesus loves you follow jesus christ repent and be saved amen